Buongiorno da Dublino, la bellissima Dublino in Irlanda. Sono con Sean. Hi Sean. Sean Power. Allora, cosa succede qui? Ve lo dico. Allora, succede questa cosa che si chiama Freedom FM. Praticamente il Ministero delle Comunicazioni irlandese eh, ha mh, delle frequenze temporanee che vengono date a disposizione delle persone che lo chiedono per degli scopi probabilmente no profit. Adesso Sean ce lo racconta e ci introduce nell'esperienza di Freedom FM. So Sean, I was talking about the temporary frequencies in Ireland. Yes. How do they work and what do they represent? And Sure, so at, at the moment here in, in Ireland there isn't um, any available uh, permanent FM licenses. So the regulator, which is uh, the BAI, the Broadcasting Authority mm -hmm. of Ireland, um, offer 30-day uh, temporary licenses to broadcast in just Dublin or in multiple cities around the country. Um, you can apply for um, as many of those cities um, as you like. And uh, you can also split the 30 days uh, as one complete 30-day um, mm -hmm. se um, section or you can split it up over weekends mm -hmm. as well. So um, you can do uh, some, some temporary stations will do weekends only mm -hmm. or maybe a week here, but Freedom FM is doing a 30 day straight run yep. um, broadcasting in eight cities across Ireland. But is it for no profit association? It is, yes, it, it so is. So what, what's the goal for? It is, it is it's, it's, a, it's a no profit um, because Uh, under the temporary license, um, you're not able to do advertising. Mm -hmm. um, you can do sponsorship um, to kind of try and cover some of the of the operating costs, but it's uh, it's all for fun. Yeah, <laughs> as, as I remember last time we met some years ago was for a charity association. I don't remember which yeah, one. Yeah, so but over, over the years there's been many um, temporary stations. One mm. of the big ones is actually um, Christmas FM. Yeah, ah, Christmas is, FM. Um, okay. Uh, there's been Walk in My Shoes, mm -hmm. uh, Autism FM, lots of community-based. Yeah, um, maybe awareness. maybe to, to give them the, the, the opportunity to get money or something to promote yes, to, activities. Yes, to kind of make awareness of those um, charities and organizations as well. Okay, and now freedom. So, what is freedom and where freedom comes from? Where, where did freedom all began? Freedom FM began in my back garden shed back in 1994. <laughs> yeah. um, when I was a teenager. Um, it And was, you had a pirate station. It was a pirate radio station <laughs> in my parents' back garden shed uh, in Temple Oak here in Dublin. And uh, it ran for eight years. It was very, very popular. Um, lots of my friends were involved. Again, it was just, it was all for fun, mm -hmm. no profit, anything like that. And uh, it closed down in 2003. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the pirate stations were raided back then and closed down. And uh, so that was that was that kind of the end of the freedom journey. <laughs> And this all yeah, came out of the pandemic mm -hmm. when the COVID pandemic started um, two years ago. Um, myself and um, two of my friends who radio lovers, radio lovers, <laughs> who originally set up freedom. Um, we came together and we kind of said, will we just do something online? Um, a few of my friends had kind of lost their jobs due to the pandemic and we wanted kind of to, you know, come up with a way of, you know, just doing something to kind of entertain ourselves. And we kind of got some music together, put yep. it online and as a kind of an internet radio station. And from then, from there, it grew legs. Lots of the original people that I haven't seen actually in 15, 18 years mm. um, heard about it. DJs. You know, um, DJs, yeah. presenters got, got interested, got involved. And we all got back together. So the original crew um, got back together two years ago. And as we said, it was like getting the band back together <laughs> um, after, you know, 15, 18 years of not seeing people. Um, so Freedom FM was launched two years ago as an online radio station only yep. um, on our website, freedomfm.ie and on smart speakers. And we got a um, smartphone app. Uh, for the let's say the present and the future let's say. exactly yes um, and then it was it was like how can we make this you know bigger and better 
um, and our option then was to apply last year to the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland mm -hmm. um, for a 30-day temporary licence, uh, which was granted, which was great. Yep. And last September, we broadcast in four cities, the four main cities in Ireland, Dublin, Cork, Limerick and Galway, um, reliving the 90s and 90s and playing some great music. It was very successful, yep. very popular, um, but because it was only 30 days, um, we went so, back on so th these crazy guys uh, got a license for FM uh, radio lovers. This is an amazing they story. They gave me a yeah, license yeah. for thirty days um, to because, play great because, music. because because this is just for for love of radio. This is literally for the love of <laughs> for radio, the love of radio, for the love of the of music, um, and especially the music of the nineties and noughties where mm, we, yeah. like was good fun. <laughs> so great music was released uh, over the years. April sixty five, Gigi D'Agostino. Yes, um, <laughs> and of course. There was some great cheese, some yeah, great yeah. cheesy music as well. Yeah, 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 yeah which, uh, exactly. You don't get to hear sometimes on, on the radio nowadays, and uh, we're playing some of that as oh, well. This one is amazing, for example. Uh, so, uh, oh, it's really, it's amazing. Wow. Exactly. Some great tunes like Stardust music. Stardust, Center, yes, yes, um, yes. So then, when the when the thirty days finished last year, we went back online, and we had built up a huge listenership online because a lot of people got to hear us on on FM radio last year. And it's year. gonna be sad because now we are using to listen to the radio in uh, in your car FM. Yeah. And, uh, and that's it, and you know you get a, you get a great lot of people, you know, going to and from work, picking the kids up from school, doing the school yeah. run, all of that. Um, so then this year we decided, you know, let's make it bigger and better again, and. Um, you know, apply for more frequencies. Mm. So we applied again to the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland and they granted us a license, which was, you know, which was great. Mm -hmm. um, and this year we've included four new transmitters to Ooh. bring the signal to a wider population. So yep. now we're covering, um, you know, a much better population. Yeah, excluding North, so uh, Donegal, of, Sligo, yes, ISO, yes, we, we have, have a lot of yeah, coverage. We're, we're, we are broadcasting online mm -hmm. um, in, you know, in those locations, but in Dublin, Cork, Limerick, Galway, and then in the Midlands, um, up West, mm -hmm. um, more of the kind of the commuter belt of Dublin and much bigger area of, Cor of Cork um, into North Cork as well. So uh, with eight transmitter sites, we're the second largest temporary license station mm -hmm. uh, in Ireland um, that have, you know, done a temporary, 30 day temporary license. That's really cool. So with compliments first and then at the end, let's talk about some technical details because sure. you are uh, so, an expert, very skilled about everything, sound, music, installation, uh, antenna.